Hey, what's up guys? So I'm here to show you how to make one of these. Remember these? Yeah, so it's a track. There's a link um, down below on how to use one of these. So basically, what you're gonna need is index cards. I have one here. Uh, I mean, you can use 10, 20, 100, a million, 2 million. I don't know how many people you're gonna evangelize. Or let me say it another way. How many giants are you gonna drop this week, you know? So, I'm gonna make one. <laughs> <laughs> Plus the other ones I made so yeah, and you're gonna need a marker and You're gonna need a surface to write on so I'm just using like a you know a whiteboard thing that I used And you're also gonna need something to write Braille with now You don't necessarily need this you can actually just do it by writing with a marker But if you do have a Braille machine or maybe even a friend that has a Braille machine You can use one of these which is probably what he uses. It's called a Perkins Brawler Okay, and I'll put a link down below on how you can get one now They are kind of expensive, but there are cheaper ways to get one which is um, I mean uh, not one of these maybe I don't know But there is a cheaper way of writing bro, and they're called slate and stylus and there's probably even cheaper er ways So yeah, I'll try to put some links down below on how to do some of that stuff so anyways but I'm gonna be using a Perkins Brawler so what you're gonna do basically if you're gonna use one of these you're gonna get your index card, okay? And I don't know if you could see there, but I'm gonna put it into the machine. So I'm gonna put it through here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can't see most of this, but I just wanted to make this video so you guys could at least get a rough idea of how I do it. And then, you know, you can do it. Um, so yeah, let me put this down here. So you, I got it in there, and I'm gonna click it into place. So there, I clicked it into place, okay? So as you can see, it's in there, and then I'm gonna scroll it in, and it has a sensor inside, so it actually knows when to stop. And once you get it all the way in, on my machine, I'm pretty sure all of them are different, but on mine, I just press enter, and it clicks into place. So I'm gonna put this thing all the way to the left, which is probably your left or your right, I'm not sure, but yeah. So you go all the way like that, and what I wanna do, is I'm gonna scroll with my knob at least one time upwards and then I'm gonna press spacebar because if I press spacebar obviously it's not gonna type anything right so I'm gonna press spacebar maybe like let's say five times just to kind of center it okay so one two three four five I know you guys know how to count but you know whatever and <laughs> and then I'm gonna type braille okay so just so you guys know Braille is really easy. It, it's consisted of cells, and I'm gonna explain that in probably another video in the future, but I'm just gonna go through it really quick. So you're gonna do a cell of one, two, three, which is these three fingers on your left. Okay, whoa, I think I just typed something. Uh, or maybe not. Yeah, so you're gonna do one, two, three, which is an L. Then you're gonna do um, one, three, four. No, wait, sorry. One, three, five right which is a O then you're gonna do uh, one three wait one two three six which is a V and then you're gonna do one five which is a E and then that's it right that was so easy so all you do there unless you're gonna like you know um, braille your contact information then you wanna flip it over and then do your contacts there but most of the time it's better if you just write it down with a pen because every blind friend that you're going to evangelize has a sighted person including probably yourself or even their parents or their friends or their siblings, I don't know, right? Because I don't know the people you're going to evangelize. But uh, yeah, so then you take it out, okay? You take it out of the machine and um, you flip. So right now it says love, L-O-V-E, right? Love which is a pretty cool way. And then on the back side, you're gonna use your marker. Okay, I'm just using a, a dry erase marker today. And I'm gonna write love in big letters. I'm pretty sure that was very sloppy because as you know, um, yeah. So it says love, right? And it says love in braille. And now you can use your track. 
Now remember, you might want to write your contact information somewhere on the card. It could either be in the front where the braille is, or it could be in the back where love is, okay? And um, always make sure that, you know, your card is not folded, because if you crease it, it might ruin the braille, and it'll probably take away the point, right? But you can actually, what you can actually do is fold these in half and save money by just, you know, writing love on two sides, folding it in half, cutting them, and now you have two tracks out of one index card, right? And you could probably do that four times. I don't know how many it will fit here. So that's it, guys. That's how you make a love track with Braille and ink and your contact information. Um... <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, so if you guys have any more um, questions about this track, let me know down below. You guys can comment. Make sure to subscribe if you like these videos. I have way more ideas than this. This is just an idea to get you guys, you know, some kind of like um, seed, you know? But make sure that you use this as an equipment for your youth. Okay, and if you guys, like I said, if you guys want to know how to use this or any other information, check down below. There's going to be links there. And um, God bless you guys, man. Have a blessed day. And um, go drop giants, man. We got to go drop them so we can raise up new leaders. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. And have love, guys. Take care.